And what speaks to you most about her work? Hmm. Well, I mean, it's kind of funny because I'm really not, I, I, I mean, I am a novelist. I don't really, I would not consider myself an expert in any way in poetry. But I think it's very fresh, it's very direct. Um, it juxtaposes um, very dark imagery with, um, I won't say with joy, but she has a way of pushing love and death and pain and sex all together. And uh, I think that's been her appeal. I mean, she's famous because of the eroticism, but I think that she's not somebody who set out to write erotically. You know, there's a difference between somebody who, who is just looking to write something that's erotic and somebody who's looking to write something as an artist. I think she's really very um, pure in that sense of really looking for an artistic expression. And, um, and it was modernist, you know, it was kind of breaking tradition um, so I guess what speaks to me is the theme, the themes. There are certain poems that I think will continue to be read. She wrote a poem about Adam and Eve, which was uh, really kind of revolutionary. Um, I guess just the honesty about the ambivalence of life. I mean, the fact that she wrote a poem about somebody that she was in love with, but she's lying in bed next to him and saying that she wished that she could see him dead. I mean, most people aren't honest enough to to say things like that, you know, that, that you want to see the love of your life dead, uh, which is a natural human feeling. Um, I'm not saying, you know, I'm not saying that she really wanted to or that that would be a healthy feeling to have, you know, as the primary feeling, but that she would admit to that kind of ambivalence. Um, so I would like to see that kind of honesty and I would like to see the, um, like the devotion to craft and a belief in craft. I, I think what's hard for people, and, and I'm a victim of it too, because I wrote a novel where I tried to fit Celia's poems to Celia's life. And from a literary perspective, I'm actually against that because I think people saw Celia's poems as a reflection of her. And I've come to understand that they were a reflection of what she saw as a good poem and that wasn't necessarily of her. And I think that male critics criticized her because they said, she was writing about herself, and if a man wrote the same kind of poem, they'd say, well, he's writing about the human condition, right? So there's a way of seeing women's work when it's self-reflective as being um, too self-involved. So I, I definitely see her as a kind of Frida Kahlo figure of poetry, and Frida Kahlo painted herself, you know, but it was really about, it wasn't about her, you know, it was about the art. And so I think I think Celia did that, and I think um, I think that's my interest as a writer is using you know the contradictions of the self as a as a tableau to um, to say something about what it is to be human, but not to get it doesn't mean that you're so like self involved that um, that you don't see that you're just this thing in the middle of of it all. <laughs> <laughs>